We'll see you there. What's up, guys? Hello from Queer and Quarantine, Italy. Ciao, Ilario. Stai a casa, Ilario. <laughs> Ciao Albi. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you like my frequency. <clears throat> hey guys. So, um, yeah. We're actually quarantined right now. Which means we cannot li uh, leave I cannot live Italy, like at all. Ciao, um, Vecchio. And, uh, and yeah, I kind of want to describe uh, the situation here. So this is going to be another boring um, live stream. Live stream. Uh, and, um, and yeah. Uh, so if you're waiting for me to... to talk about music and, and how I made this track and how I made um, the, anything, this is not the right, uh, this is not the right live stream. So you might as well just close this. Um, so, so yeah, so I, I already see people that are asking if I have Corona because I'm in quarantine. Actually, I'm not, not that I know of, um, but everybody in Italy, not, not in Italy, sorry, in uh, Lombardy, which is where I come from, um, is forced in quarantine right now. Uh, we can go outside, uh, we can go to the shopping center, nah, not really the shopping center, we can go do grocery. Um, we cannot go to a different city, um, which is where I am right now, actually. I'm not in my house, I am, uh, about an hour away from it. I'm with my best friend who's over there, you can't see him. Um, but so we're doing a quarantine together because I live on the top of a mountain on my own and it gets pretty lonely and it's super depressing and it's already like kind of a hard time. Um, uh, so we decided to, to, to be together and just like, you know, we work, we play Call of Duty. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, we just kind of go go through this together, and uh, and hopefully everything will be alright. Um, now, uh, it's very important for me to say that we're not scared that this thing is gonna kill us. This thing is not gonna kill us. Um, but it's very important that people understand that even though this virus is not going to kill them and the flu kills more people and, and uh, cancer kills, kills more, more people and uh, cars kill more people and all that kind of stuff, you have to understand that there are uh, consequences to uh, what's happening. And I talked to a couple friends of mine who are doctors and they explained the situation and they asked me, since I have lots of followers, they're like, please just go online and talk to people and let them know how the situation is. And the situation is um, that the virus is fairly mild for, for, again, a lot of people, especially people who are healthy. But uh, in some cases, in a lot of cases, it requires doctors uh, and hospital to, uh, to put people under uh, intensive care. So they need machines, they need doctors, uh, and you know, and because everybody is so busy and uh, they're trying to sort of uh, contain the situation, the um, reaction time on everything slows down everything else, right? So, I don't know, a lot of people are saying coronavirus is hyped needlessly. It's bullshit. Uh, we are locked in the house because we thought that it was just a stupid hype. Um, until one day ago, everybody was like, ah, oh, this is nothing. We're fine. And now 
we're locked in the house. They locked a region, guys. Like we cannot leave the we cannot leave our area. It's it's fucked. It's insane. So hear me out. Before you say this is stupid and this is hyped and this is all memes and shit, um, it's true. The virus itself, once again, it's not a huge deal, uh, but it does require a lot of people to go under intensive care, which requires a lot of machine and um, requires a lot of attention from a lot of doctors. This means that if you... Um, have a car accident if the ambulance uh, normally takes two minutes to get to you now it takes 10 minutes to get to you and you know that when um, when an ambulance that I mean sorry we, and you know when when something happens uh, when something like this happens every second counts so if everybody's busy taking care of people with coronavirus um, Everything slows down. The reaction time on everything slows down. This is the problem. The problem is not the coronavirus. Coronavirus um, itself, it's dangerous for a lot of people uh, who uh, have weak uh, immune system, who have chemotherapy, who are uh, old people and, and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's dangerous for a limited amount of people. But requires a lot of attention from doctors and it requires a lot of um, room inside hospitals and stuff so what is happening in my area right now uh, is that basically um, hospitals are completely filled uh, there's no there's no room and the doctor my friend and this is not the media. I, mean, I didn't hear this from the media and I didn't hear this from a friend of a friend. My friend who's a doctor who is like literally at the hospital right now trying to fix this mess told me and, and begged me to, to, to go on, on um, social media and talk about this. Told me that um, they are now sort of deciding who lives and who dies. Um, and, and she told me that's, that's, that sucks. Um, and what this means is if there's, if there's an old person that's uh, under um, intensive care and a younger person with a better, with a better chance uh, of surviving, the old person is gonna be removed from intensive care and the person with higher chances to survive is gonna uh, go under intensive care. This means that um, if uh, an old person is uh, in intensive care and I get sick and because I'm younger and because I have better chances of surviving, um, if I get sick and I go to the hospital and I need intensive care, again, if I get the virus doesn't mean that I will need intensive care, but hypothetically, if I would go to the hospital and I would need intensive care, what happens is the the old person that is um, under intensive care at that mo at that time, um, it's gonna lose uh, the spot because they're gonna give it to me because they have uh, better chances of um, of surviving. Um, should a person, a ten year old boy, come to the hospital? with the same problem, uh, they would take me uh, away from uh, intensive care because uh, the young person has more chances of surviving than someone my age. Um, and, and this is the same thing for, for uh, someone who had an accident, has a, someone has a car accident. Again, the, the virus is not the problem. Someone has a car accident, uh, he's under intensive care, um, but chances of him surviving are slimmer compared to someone who has uh, something else, uh, they are gonna take him out of uh, intensive care and they're gonna focus on who can survive. Um, this, is, um, this is the bigger problem. Uh, the media has been uh, very effective on, on, on scaring us in a way, but they've been very poor on scaring us on, on the wrong thing. 
because everybody got really scared, but then they were like, ah, oh, you know, it's just old people. We're fine. We use the internet. We make memes. Nothing's going to happen to us, which is true. Um, but again, the problem is not on the virus itself. Um, so, uh, what happened in Italy is about three weeks ago, we had an outbreak. It's about two hours away from uh, where I live, uh, close to Milan. We had an outbreak. Things got a little bit ugly. They closed off the whole, uh, the whole town. And, uh, and they told us, you should stay home. And we didn't listen, because cause, cause why? Again, old people die, who cares? Um, and then they started closing uh, sports center, gyms, schools, uh, theaters, uh, a bunch of, bunch of places where, uh, where people gather and stuff. They still, um, they still kept um, restaurants and bar open. Uh, although they limited the amount of uh, hours and stuff like that. But again, people didn't care. And, um, and the virus kept spreading. Uh, people lived their life of, as nothing was happening. Um, when, the, when the news came out first, everybody uh, did this whole supermarket shopping rage thing. Where, where they just like went to the supermarket, got everything, and then they went back home. Um, but by, that, that lasted for like two days, uh, but then just a couple days after, um, shopping centers and, and malls and, and groceries, they were still filled with food, with, with people, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so we didn't really care, life kept going, we ignored everything. Um, and the virus kept, kept getting worse and worse and worse. And it started with, I believe, 40 people on, on the first day. Uh, we're now on the 15th day and we're over 5,000 people infected. Um, and again, uh, nobody cared. Uh, what happened is, uh, a lot of people thought that this was a holiday. So what did they do? Um, they just went skiing and they went uh, out in bars and, and cafes and as nothing was, was, was happening. So um, <laughs> what this caused is basically a freaking giant mess because people didn't listen and, and so they thought that they were on holiday. They just went everywhere. They didn't care about anything. And now the Italian government was like, all right, this shit got to stop. Um, and they locked the whole entire um, region. So what I'm here to tell you is you don't have to be scared of the coronavirus itself. Uh, this is not, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be, and, and this, is, this has been my biggest issue with with doing a live stream like this a statement like this or whatever you want to call it um you don't have to like i don't want to be the guy uh that goes like in the middle of the road of the street in the city with with a with a paper sign that says we're all gonna die we're we're not gonna die um right i don't want to be that guy i don't want to be uh <laughs> my friends is making this is being stupid right now uh, I don't want to be, you know, uh, over dramatic, and um, and I don't want to look like the guy who's gonna be like, uh, be careful, lock yourself in the ho in the house, and, and blah blah blah. Uh, but uh, I'm here to tell you, I try to warn you that uh, should the virus sort of spread in your area, and should things start to get a little bit on um out of control stay in and and if if the government is telling you to stay in the house um listen to what the government says listen to what doctors are saying listen to what the media is saying stay in the house so what me and my friend did a week ago before anyone else 
was like the, everybody here was still like, yeah, we're fine. We're not, nothing's gonna happen to us. A week ago, I was like, all right, shit might get a little crazy. I don't wanna stay home in the studio. Um, how about I come, uh, I come to your place and we sort of force ourselves in quarantine and uh, we try to see as less people as possible and uh, you know, we do our part. And he agreed, this is why I'm not broadcasting from the Seven Skies Mansion, I'm broadcasting from the Respective Mansion right now. Um, but, you know, we, we tried to be as smart as possible. We, we joked about this uh, for, for the entire week. I'm not saying that we are, um, that we are being super serious and super, you know, we, we, we've done our, we've made our mistake. We are still joking about it. We're not completely terrified about it. Um, but, you know, us being uh, at home is two people less that are spreading the virus around. And two people meet two more people, meet two more people, meet two more people that that's how the virus spreads. So um, if this, if everybody here in Italy would have listened to uh, what basically uh, people have been told to do, the virus would have died already. You know, I, he, I mean, it, it definitely would have, you know, the, the, the whole spreading would have been way more limited to uh, compared to what we have now. But again, people didn't listen. People just went out, uh, and carried life as, as nothing um, was going on and this is the situation here right now um, so so yeah uh, try to be mindful if this happens to your country um, there's no need to panic and, and, and you know think that you're gonna die because this is not gonna happen to you you're all gonna be fine but you have to think about a bigger sort of um, thing, uh, which is the health of people you love. Uh, if you have a grandma, if you have, uh, if your parents are over 60 years old, uh, you have to think about them. Um, so, um, so yeah, uh, think about your loved ones, think about your friends, loved ones, think about, you know, everything is connected. So uh, I hope you, you'll do your part. I hope this, uh, this live stream will make sense. Um, again, the biggest, our biggest problem was to make fun of it. Um, and you're allowed to make fun of it. I've, I've seen the best memes ever with this coronavirus. Like, I think the internet is giving it's best with the coronavirus thing, um, which is fine. It's great to react this way, um, but uh, we we also think that you know we are invincible and nothing's gonna, gonna happen to us and and shit like this only happens in movies. And um, I'm living this first person. <laughs> I can tell you this does feel like a movie. There's like city the city's empty. Um, Again, you are not allowed to leave your country. This is unheard of. Like, this is, you're not used to this. So, um, you don't, re you never really think that this is gonna happen to you until it does. Um, and you know, even when it was in China, it was in China. It's, China's far, uh, you know, who cares? Um, that's what everybody's been thinking about. Like, China is far, doesn't matter. And then he gets to Italy um, and it's like, yeah, whatever. It's just a virus. Nothing's gonna happen to you. And again, nothing is gonna happen to you. Um, but, but you know, you, you're just not ready for the consequences of whatever this whole thing is, is um, causing. Um, so, um, so yeah, uh, just, just try to be mindful. And if, uh, if there's an outbreak in your area, Try to limit contacts with other humans as much as you can. This is uh, this is my message. This is as much as I can say uh, for now. Um, uh, again, yes, I'm in the red zone. I'm literally in the middle of this 
freaking mess. I'm fine for now. Knock on wood. Shut up. <laughs> um, knock on wood. I'm fine. Um, yes, this is it. If you if you haven't um, if you haven't watched this live stream from the beginning, I'll save it. Um, I think that there are a lot of important information, um, and uh, and yeah, it, hopefully you know hopefully this is gonna help spread <laughs> the the some some uh, some good sense into people's head. Um, this is as much as I can do. I'll hope if there's need uh, to to donate some money to my community, I'll also. Uh, donate some money um hope, uh, hopefully you know things are gonna settle and things are gonna slow down and uh, hopefully nothing is gonna happen to you to your any to nothing is gonna happen to you to your loved ones and to your country um but yes um what can i say this is this is not a movie and uh for as much as you guys don't want to believe it Shit's real. <laughs> um, maybe not in your country yet, but uh, it's very real in mine. And sadly, this thing is going everywhere. So uh, be ready, um, be safe. And, uh, and yeah, at the end of the day, quarantine is, uh, it's, it's fun. a good... It's fun. It's fun. No, it's not fun, but you know, for us, for me as a producer and and this guy as a as a video what are you video whatever video guy and uh, and, 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 and media guy and everything we're basically um we're basically you know in the in in the studio in front of a computer every day 24 not 24 hours a day but 24/7 um so for us quarantine is not uh, this big a deal um, we are again we're together we're having fun we're working and then we're playing Call of Duty um, we're sticking together and uh, we're again m the most important thing that we are doing is we're doing our part as good citizens to try and limit the spread of this thing um, nothing is gonna spread in this house and if it's gonna spread in this house it's gonna stay in this house um, and we're not gonna carry it around. Um, unlike what a lot of stupid Italians are doing or have done for the past two weeks. Um, right, uh, this is it. If you feel the need to, to share this, uh, this, this message, share it. If you don't, don't share it. Uh, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not looking for, you know, visibility or, or uh, promotion out of this uh, I just I just want to document whatever is happening um, as a person who's living this uh, in first person and real time and uh, yeah right in the middle of it so if you want uh, to know more information if you just tuned in uh, the live stream if you want to know more information about whatever's going on and whatever I talked about until now I'll save the story I might try and save it and post it as an IGTV or something. I don't know, I don't, that, I don't wanna do that, but, uh, but let me know, just, just message me if you feel like this is a message that could be useful for other people. Um, and, uh, and yeah, this is it. Uh, if you are going to Ultra, if you are going to Miami, I'm obviously not gonna be there. Just be super, super safe guys. Cause, uh, cause yes, if, if nothing is gonna happen to you, if the virus is not gonna kill you or it's just giving you a flu, um, that doesn't mean that um, there might be people that you love that could be affected in a more negative way compared, uh, compared to you. So be mindful, this is, this is very important. Um, and we're lucky because this, you know, this is a test, uh, not a test, but, um, we're lucky that this is not this is not a zombie apocalypse, right? So it's uh, it's a mild virus that's creating big consequences, but at least this is not something that's killing everyone. Um, so 
Um, in a way, this is going to remind us that, you know, bad shit actually happens and, uh, and uh, happens in real life and not just in movies. Um, so uh, hopefully this is not going to happen ever again. Um, but in case it happens, we at least know how to handle it. Uh, I definitely, um, if there will ever be another outbreak like this, I am definitely going to lock myself in the house the moment that there's a warning uh, as opposed to, you know, wait 10 days before doing it. Um, so yes, for me, David, seven skies in lockdown, in quarantine, but very safe um, for now. This is it. Uh, thank you for tuning by and um, stay safe, stay healthy. Love you guys. Stay foolish. Yeah, stay foolish. No, don't, don't stay foolish. <laughs> See you guys.